Ooh. Welcome, welcome back, everybody. It's a Friday Night Fright. You'll have to excuse me. I started like a minute later than I normally like to. <laughs> so I'm like frantically running around here. We are playing Evil Within tonight. And aside from the late start, setup has gone pretty good. We'll see how the final product looks. Like I said, I uh, had some issues recently with um, bitrate and all that. Fire Emblem Warriors ran terribly, but I haven't even had a chance to check to see how yesterday's episode went. But I didn't do much different in setup, so I imagine it probably didn't go much better than the previous day. Or the previous week, I should say, but we're doing a new horror game, and it's something that's not... I mean, <laughs> funny enough, I didn't even put the... I didn't make, I didn't put two and two together. Another Bethesda-produced game. Bethesda, I don't think, made or did the developing on the game. Uh, but I just think it's funny that we're doing another Bethesda game. So, all right. It's interesting. I don't know why or how, but I had... I had a save file on here. I don't ever remember playing Evil Within on Xbox. Like, ever. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I mean, maybe I did. I don't know. I just find that really odd. All units. I'm a little worried I'm forgetting something, but everything looks pretty good, so we're, Sorry, we're probably detectives. okay. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? Levels are looking good. Picked you up, yeah. So it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. One, three, one. Please advise. Maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One, two, seven. One, two, four. Please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Oh, hey, I got a new uh, follower. Grand Mothwell. Thank you. Appreciate that. Detective Castellanos. Must have happened off stream. We're at 40 now. 10 more and I can actually be an affiliate. Is there any... God damn it. Jesus! Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Once we get there. She has purple eyes. That's interesting. Now, on the PS4, I played a decent way into this game. I never beat it fully, but I was pretty close. I was close enough to know that a lot of the stuff that's going on or it's going to happen to us is cerebral, but not really close enough to know like what all that was about. Man, this game looks great. The rain looks really good. Look at that. Look at that raindrops off those people's faces. That's fantastic. But yeah, we're on Series X, and this game is on Game Pass. I was going to dust off my PS4 version, but I thought, you know, why not just go ahead and just play a digital version? Plus, I like playing games on my Xbox more, and it seems like, even though current generations seem to load faster because the PS5 games are what just well-optimized and not a whole lot of Series X-only games have come out, when it comes to the previous generation, Xbox One... And PS4, Xbox One seems to typically load most games better. Just from all the testing that I've done, so. It smells like blood. All right, stay sharp. I don't know if that's the case here, but I mean, it's on an SSD, just like PS5, so. We're gonna check it out. Don't if... let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. If it does load faster on PS5, it's probably not by a ton, so. And again, physical version versus digital version. That also helps. Ooh, it's blurry. 
There's a lot of Did you hear something? A lot of dead people here. That dead guy looks just like that dead guy. That dead guy, the way that he's positioned. This guy over here, he died in the exact same way. But this guy right over here, this guy also died in the same way. And this guy right here, he's the killedest guy. You thought this guy was the killedest guy? He's still moving. That guy was the killedest guy. Oh man, there's his brother over there. A lot of twins in this hospital. Sir, can you explain what the fuck? Can't be real. Right? Impossible. Ruvik is. Ruvik is. I've got it. The security cameras might tell us something. I feel like he could still talk though, but okay. I'm just gonna walk real slowly. They make me walk so slow in the beginning here. Over to the security cameras. What we got? Strap in for some movies, by the way, folks. We're not gonna be playing the game proper for a bit. What's happening? Oh no. Matrix. What the hell? See, stuff like this guy doesn't scare me too much because he's just like super powered. Uh, but there is some scary stuff in this game. Although, ah, my eyes. Oh, no. So I, I want to theorize that at this point, maybe he did get inside his head, and now what I'm going through is in my head, so to speak, or made up. I don't know. Hello, Senor Rat. How are you? I mean, El Raton. So this is not really, this is not a position you want to be in when you wake up. This is bad news. Oh dear. Look at this guy. He does not look like he'll be gentle with me. He is, uh... He's cutting on something over there. It sounds pretty juicy. Juicy, juicy. You get that lunch. There's a uh, super shiny knife right there. It couldn't get any more you need to grab this than that knife. It's the brightest, shiniest, most beautiful thing in this room. And off he goes, carrying uh, half a body. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna swing towards this knife. I wonder if I just move it up and down really fast, like... Oh, that actually does work. I'm just going to move it up and down really fast. Wow. That was way quicker than when I did my test run. I didn't test it too far because, again, I was running behind. So I haven't had a chance to fire a gun in this game yet. You have to go pretty far to do that anyways. So I'll be keeping an eye on my sound levels and I might hop up and make an adjustment. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Or I'll get these keys and then I will fuck right off. Bye bye. But the bodies hit the floor. Squeaky, squeaky. Oh, got weird there for a sec. Hey, we hit a checkpoint. That's cool. All right, I think I can just walk like a regular dude. Yeah, he didn't catch on. Look at this selection of chainsaws. Over here. Whoa, God! I tr okay, that's probably bad. That's bad, right? Oh, no. He loves chainsaws. Run, dude. Very long hallway here. Oh, he got me in the leg. That sucks. Oh, 
Oh, that's... Oh, boy. Let me tell you. That's a bad situation to be in. Let's, let's go down the, uh, the gross viscera chute. There we go. Oh, my God. Right into the blood pile. Nasty. Ooh, that's nasty. Oh, I forgot to turn on my lamp. That's... I was like, why is my face so dark? Hold on. I forgot something. That's what it was. There, that's... Better? Yeah, there we go. Now you can see my face, sort of. <laughs> it's kind of important when we're doing Friday Night Frights and we show our face. You want to be able to see the face. Let me make sure I'm not sitting on my Ethernet cord. That would be a no bueno. Let's get this in closer to me. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just move that. And then move. There we go. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Technical. Technicals. I mean, it's not really technical, it's just turning on a light, right? But, uh, sorry about that. I'm sniffing into the mic, too. God, I'm so professional. He's like, no, ouch. Alright. What are we getting into now? Ooh, this is uh this is the river of Hep C right here. I bet it smells really gross. The camera's just zooming in on that body as hard as it can. I guess we should go say hello. Where's the exit? Excuse me, sir, do you know where the exit is? Old note from sewer. Beside the lock gate at the far end of the sewer, there is a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. R. Thanks, R. Hmm. I wonder if I should go in that other door, because it wasn't chained up like this door is. Maybe I should go through there and check it out. I wish my leg didn't hurt so much. Oh, I can't go in here. What's in here? Let's see. There's some roaches. Like a lot of roaches. And a chair. And a big oil drum. And then another one. Wow, that was a waste of time, huh? All right, well, off we go. They can't all be winners, folks. Some of these rooms are just rooms. I would argue that, you know, why let me in there? But, you know, whatever. I didn't make the game. What we got here? Big old chain. I need something to break the chain. Break these chains. Ooh, I bet I'm going to find something to break the chains in this room. Feeling pretty good about it. Let me get, like, a chainsaw. What? I said a chainsaw. What? A mother, mother chainsaw. I skim your ass raw. Uh, or I'll just go up the ladder and not worry about it, I guess. It just... With the big shiny locks, it seems like I am supposed to go through those doors. So, I thought maybe I'd get a weapon in here. Maybe it's for New Game Plus. It's a really long ladder. Could use some tunes. Never mind, we're through it. It's gonna start seeing a snake eater. Is that joke dead yet? Hey, more confidential notes. Boiler room, 1300. Stem system operation test begin. Success, Con confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Losses minimal. 
Continuing experiment, agent collects the data. Anomaly incurs. Not with the subject. The stenographer claimed they weren't feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctor orders the stem system terminated. Staff begin complaining of nausea and falling unconscious one after another. Those who can still move plan their escape from the hospital, but for unknown reasons are unable to. Though the stem system should have been deactivated, subjects maintained brainwave synchronization with the host. He, that man, appeared. And then it was the shit show you saw at the, you saw at the hospital, I guess. So I wonder what the story is. Like, they experimented on that guy's brain, and then he had the power to, like, mess with people's minds and show them what he wanted to show them. And, of course, what he wanted to show them was Rocky Horror Picture Show just all the time. Like he's showing me right now. Ooh, is this healing? Nope, that's just the bottle. Alright, I'm just gonna hobble on over here, I guess. I've been working in the coal mine, moving on down. Working in the coal mine, whoop, I'm about to slip now. Working. Going. Can I hide? Okay, yeah, I can hide. Wait, wait. There we go. You're never gonna catch me. Just gonna take a drink while we're hiding in the uh, the locker. Check the. Uh... Ooh, he is angry. Hmm. The game sound peaked a little bit when he busted in the room, but. Overall, it seems fine. He's a loud boy. I'll give him that. He's so mad. He apparently doesn't play a lot of video games. Like, clearly I'm in this locker. It's where I am. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna hobble with the stealthiness stealth. Okay. Ah, oh, word? Damn it. Let's see which way he comes. I should have just went past. Okay, it looks like he turned around again. He loves that room. Alright, I'm just gonna go this way. And I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, yeah. Let him see me. Yeah, no shit, dude. push these? No. Oh, that sucks. Maybe I can, um... Where's he at now? He's raging against the machine. I feel like I have to get past where he's standing. Oh! He just broke through that side. Okay, I'm gonna go this way then. Yeah, there we go. You big dummy. He saw me. I'm gonna die. Maybe not. Look at me doing things. Wait, I just got a checkpoint. Am I good? Ah, I'm probably good. Let's explore a little bit. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's see. 
I feel like he's going to start chasing me as soon as I get anywhere. Yep. All right. So we don't want to we don't want to fall over the uh, the wheelchairs. That would be bad. Just climb climb over that. There you go. Want to get up quickly if you can, sir. There you go. Get in that elevator. So angry. All right. So that's that. Bethesda makes a game less bad than Call of Cthulhu Dark Quarters of the Earth. So this probably isn't news to fans of horror games or fans of Resident Evil, but the big thing about this was the guy that I think developed and directed Resident Evil 2 made this game, I think. I haven't discussed it in a while and I kind of forgot who who's who, but I think that's what it was. So people are really interested to see what he would uh, come up with. Yeah, Shin Shin Shinji Mikami. He's the guy that worked on Resident Evil. So Did he work on Resident Evil 4? I don't know. I can't remember. This definitely has an over-the-shoulder over style of gameplay like Resident Evil 4, but it's way more cerebral, so there's a lot of, you know, other stuff, like all this whole segment. In that respect, it kind of reminds me of latter-day Resident Evil. I mean, we just got done playing Resident Evil Village on this show, and, you know, what's cool about Village is they kind of mash all of these different genres of gameplay, and there's... There's some action-y, dumb bits in uh, Village, like when you're fighting the giant fish monster and Heisenberg and all that. And there's uh, the scary bits too, like the dollhouse where they take all your weapons away. Oh yeah, I think this is all in his brain right now. He's just like, what happened? Okay. But I, I've heard some complaints from other, like, famous Let's Players and uh, YouTubers that were doing, like, reviews or playing Resident Evil Village that they didn't like the tonal inconsistency of, uh, of Village. Like, that it was too all over the place. Um... I don't know. I, I actually really enjoyed it. I think for video, I think video games is a really good medium for that type of thing. And there's a lot of, uh, if I recall, there's a lot of switch ups to this gameplay. Maybe not as many. I feel like there's distinct what we're going through now, and uh, then like you know, you like your action and, and shooting fighting, surviving gameplay. But as you can see, it's not afraid to get dumb. I think at the time that this came out, this game was criticized for that. For having more camp than people wanted, maybe? I don't know. But again, I really enjoyed it for what it was. Something I've always wanted to come back to, so I'm glad I have an excuse to do it with this show for for sure. I think we're gonna beat it this time. I hope we are. I would really like to. Oh no. Shit. Ooh, that man's crazy. He's crazy. I would not have attempted that. people. 
Has anybody thought to ask? That would certainly that would certainly send me out of my house <laughs> screaming if that happened. Damn it! Are we cut off from everyone? Mm-hmm. Everyone must be dead. That's not a good enough explanation, dude. Everyone all right back there? Just a few bumps. We're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further, and we'll be fine. Hmm. And there he is. Fine. 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 Fall. Fall. Oh no, he is zombie now. I also wonder, is it just me, like, in this hellscape, or are the other people I'm with actually there, too? Like, the other cop, and maybe the doctor, and that patient? Mm. Chapter 1, clear! <laughs> we did it. Shooting an enemy in the leg can knock them down. Good to know. Excuse me. Um... This effect makes it really hard to figure out what's happening. Sir. Oh, yeah, it's my body. Okay. This is a dank, scary-looking hospital here, guys. What you got going on? I don't like it. Transfer me to the nearest hospital, not in a basement or with windows. Okay, where are you guys going? Hello? Am I all alone? Is this thing on? I need a bigger gun. Revolver Ocelot. Uh-oh. That man has got elephantitis of the neck. Ooh, that's nasty. Oh, we're good. Oh, and I got a life bar now. All right, the video game is starting. What's this? Bodies found. Bodies found in Lakeside Town. Cause of death remains a mystery. More than a dozen mutilated bodies found in the village of Elk River. Several residents unaccounted for. That sucks. What's this? All right, we got brain juice. That I think is going to be our main. Uh, mo like our main uh, currency. Anybody there? Is anybody in the toilet? Hello? Anybody in this? Oh, more brain juice. Gotta get it out of the toilet. Gotta get it out of the toilet. Excuse me. Hello. There is a disgustingly large amount of bugs out here. Excuse hey, ma'am. Are we awake? Is everyone else all right at the city? Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. Right now. Well, I mean, you're here. Okay, what's that mirror? So I think this is our hub. It's a really weird kind of in-between place that we'll come back to often. This place is necessary for you. You're always welcome here. Thank you. Hospitalized. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. <sighs> Why not? Please sign in here. Okay. Without signing in, there is no way to ensure your future memories. Okay. Yeah, what is this? Chapter 2 Remnants. That's my last save. Oh, okay. So that must be my auto save. No, it says last save November 15th, 2014. Oh my god, did my cloud save transfer from the PlayStation? That's ins- I have to look that up. That's insane. There's cross-platform on PlayStation? There's no way I play this game on Xbox One. I didn't even have one in 2014, I don't think. 
I know I played this on PlayStation. That's crazy. I'm blown away by that. All right, well, I won't save over it then. I'll just, uh, I'll save here. Last save. Huh. But the weird thing is, is I didn't get very far. Maybe I did play on the Xbox. I'm so confused. The only other thing I can think of is I shared a profile on my cousin's Xbox. So it's possible that maybe he got the game back in 2014 and played it on his Xbox under my name on accident. Because I really don't remember like playing this on the Xbox. And I was a lot further on the PlayStation. So it wouldn't have said just 26 minutes. That's bananas. All right. What's in here? What's all this stuff in here? I think maybe this is where we spend our brain juice. You are all right. Please relax. Okay. Please have a seat. I was gonna, but they didn't give me the prompt right away. What the hell? Oh no. Oh no. You mustn't fight it. This is for your own good. Green gel can no. be used to upgrade individual Stop. parameters. Okay. There now. You see? All better. Lady, am I going crazy? Huh? Now what makes you say that? Um, you're on fire. Interesting. They let me spend a little brain juice, and that was it. Oh, I remember this part. Shit. What the hell is going on? Uh, let's see, we got injections. This might be how we heal ourselves. Yeah, the origin of medication in this travel syringe is unknown, but it provides moderate health restoration. Where are you? Press R to access the inventory. Connolly. Okay. Equip and use. It's that shortcut. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, so I can I got that shortcutted now. That's fine. We'll stay at a uh, low health, see how far we can get away with it. I think I'm probably, let me see, yeah, I'm probably f supposed to follow that blood trail. Let's look around for just, yep, brain juice, baby! We definitely want to pick up all the brain juice we can, because the next time we go back to that chair, we'll actually be able to, like, upgrade things and get stronger. So, gimme the brain juice. Ooh, it's real dark over here. I can't see anything. All right. Let's play the video game. Eventually, we'll get a gun. That's when it's going to get real scary, because it means we have to shoot things. Oh, no. There's two schools of thought on that when it comes to horror games. I think that horror games are pretty scary when you can't fight the whole time, or when you can't when you can fight the whole time. But I think the scariest is when you know you can fight uh, and then you, you finally get the ability. Before that, you're like, well, they're not expecting much out of me. But it just depends on how they... Uh, oh, we're having melee attacks. Attack enemies or objects barehanded with a melee weapon. Pow. Attack this box. Pow. Brain juice. Always punch the boxes, kids. But yeah, I'd be curious to hear what uh, what people think is the scariest, a game where you can't fight or a game where you can. I'm probably leaning towards a game where you can't. Or maybe you can fight back, but it's ineffective, like a la Silent Hill. Silent Hill was just cerebral. Like, it wasn't about jump scares or about, you know, the peril that you were in. It's just the sound. 
The sound design in that game always made me super uneasy. I could only play Silent Hill for like a couple of hours, and then I had to, had to give it a rest. Can I pick this up? Yes, I can. Hey, there we go. That'll help. There's a person over there. They don't look friendly. Wow, easy, buddy. He's uh, hungry. Okay, we're just gonna. Can I? Can I punch? Oh, I don't have my melee attack anymore. That's interesting. I'm gonna come over here and punch. See if I can punch these boxes. Guy's eating something kind of meaty. It's a person. Just gonna pick up this gun and shoot you. That's nasty. Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he's fast. Oh, God. No, don't grab me. Oh, he might kill me. Get off. Oh, I'm bad at aiming. I'm bad at shooting. Okay. Whew. God, Conway. Glad I got him because I'm out of bullets. Speaking of which, let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use that healing. Hey, do you have any bullets on you, Connolly? Oh, I stomped on him. Seriously though, bullets? No. Let me see if I can hit these boxes. Whoop. So that lantern that I have. Oh, it's gone now. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Can I pick that one up? Nope. There's some brain juice, though. Of course there is. Any bullets? No. Oh, there we go. Bullets. Alright, how do I reload? with X. Yeah, it seems pretty standard. Press L to use the lantern. Okay. Oh, there we go. Just lights up from the hip. You gotta love it. a little bit. There we go. Just chill. Hurts! Hurts! Whoa. Yeah, what you ran right at it. About this? You are Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help Maybe. you? Shit. How am I going to get you to a hospital? Hospital. 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 Hospital! Nope. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Just runs off. Disarm the trap. Hey, now. Trap parts acquired. Trap parts are needed to craft bolts for the agony crossbow. Nice name. And they are used in the inventory screen. Okay. Good to know. Try to take it easy. There are traps, after all. See, when you head track like that, you're telling me that there's something over here, and there isn't anything over here. Stop it. Yeah, he just likes to look around. I hate it. Cut that out. LB sprint consumes stamina. Why are you telling me how to run, huh? That's weird. I thought I had to hold down A to run. It's weird that it's saying it's LB. Alright. You 
using matches. Approach a fallen enemy and press B to burn them, destroying them completely. Burning consumes one match. If the same enemies are close enough, they can all be burned with one match. Other things besides corpses and enemies can also be burned. Oh, I remember that mechanic and hating it. So I'm like, oh, am I having enough matches? I'll burn this guy, though. Why not? Tutorial burn. Can I get up here? Sure can. Ouch! What you got? What you got on my inventory? Nothing. Damn. Oh, I wonder if I could burn this. Looks like something I should be able to burn. I don't have a match anymore, though. Luckily, the match prompt seems to just pop up automatically when there is something to burn. I don't have to, like, equip it or try it out or whatever. And that's good. Oop. Go here. Go inside this spooky room. It's pretty spooky. Oh, God. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I don't know why. Okay, that's good. So that's the rest area lady. We can sprint, spend some more brain juice here in a sec. Okay, what's this? Okay, Journal Sebastian Castellanos, November 2004. I think that's our main character. Finally got my gold badge. Detective Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos? I don't know how to say that. I like the sound of that. Seems a long time coming. But they say that I'm one of the fastest ever to rise through the ranks. Can't wait to get started. I know that I can do more good as a detective than I ever could as a beat cop. Plus, I don't have to wear that damn uniform anymore. The pay bump doesn't hurt either. KCPD needs all the help they can get. There's a seemingly disproportionate amount of crime these days. Crimson City is my home, and it's my job to protect it. Oh, look at him. He loves being a cop. You narc. Shit. I don't get copyright struck for that stupid song. The, back here again. I feel like it plays in this room the whole time. I must be losing it. Oh, maybe not. I have memory of it playing in the room for a while. So I think that this mirror is normally how you get back. Of course, we were teleported automatically last time, but... Is this the room I was just in? Or is this the room I was in before? I don't know. Oh, it was the room I was just in. Can I go in these other rooms? Let me in. Let me in. This is not a dance. I'm screaming for help. I'm begging for help. Somebody let me in. I don't know if that was a bad dream, or this is. Whatever is the matter. Oh. Where, oh, there you are. Hello. I'm here to save my game. Alright. Yeah, since the other one doesn't really have that much time, I'm just going to save over it. I'm blown away by that. I think that's even before I got this game, too, because I think I played this game in 2015. Because it was uh, when we were pregnant with my first son. And he was born at, right at the beginning of 2016. Wait, there's another mirror here, though. Okay, I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, there's brain stuff. I feel like there is another room where I could go, I could, like, use keys or something. Maybe I have to unlock that aspect. Yeah, seems like it. All right, well, we can use brain juice. Let's do that. Okay, so you get abilities, stock, and weapons. Let's check the abilities. Increase our life. Increase the sprint time. Increase melee damage. Oh, wow. All these are really expensive. Syringe recovery. Okay. 
Okay, damage multiplier for the gun. Fire rate. Reload time. Clip capacity. Ooh, that'd be good if I didn't reload the gun already. Well, it's something we can keep in mind. Accuracy. Ooh, that helps. Decrease the sway on the reticle for better accuracy. I like that. Let's buy that. Well, hold on. Before we do, let's check out stock. Okay. Oh, you can just you can just spend points to that can be carried. Okay. To increase like your how much stuff you can carry. Got it. Okay. Yeah, let's increase our accuracy. Ooh, and our crit rate? That sounds like fun. And I only have 100 points left. Can I forward anything? Doesn't look like it. Hey, somebody commented on one of my TikTok videos. Thanks, TikTok. I'm having too much fun on TikTok. I know a lot of people my age like look down on it, but that's because they're curmudgeons. I don't understand people. Today I was at a gas station and there were a couple of kids. They had to be like maybe 16, 17. And they were walking through the gas station really funny. Like they were squatting. I was like, are they shooting a TikTok video? What the hell? But they, their cameras weren't out. They were just being silly. And uh, they walked in like that. They walked out like that. And I remember the, uh, the cashier, when they walked out, he was like, dumb kids. Or kids being dumb. I think he said kids being dumb. I was like, oh man, they're just having fun. <laughs> like... Don't you remember being 17 and doing stupid shit? If not, you wasted your time. But yeah, people just, uh... I don't know what it is. I was a part of this Facebook group called Gamers Over 30, and I'm like, oh, cool, mature discussions about games. Nope. Same old bullshit. Same old console wars, complaining about console wars, fanboyism, complaining about fanboyism, rampant sexism... And, like, the headmen seem to regulate things, but in favor of leaving, like, sexist posts up and just removing the comments, which I found to be really odd. And then, like, I posted up some really popular videos for my TikTok, and in some of the groups where there's a lot more younger people, like, uh, some of my Nintendo groups, they're like, oh, that's awesome, because I put up, uh, you know, like, uh, some Amiibo videos and stuff that I did, which is really fun. Uh, and then in the older group, and then some of the other groups that I know, like, have just the older gamers in it. They're like, ooh, you lost me a TikTok. And it's just like, it's a medium in which you use to, to like, display your stuff. You have to calm down. Okay. We're gonna try and sneak kill this guy. Uh, well, son of a bitch. So much for that. God damn it. I think I need to slow... That was cool. I think I need to slow down, like, the speed at which um, my reticle moves when I'm... That almost feels like too much. I mean, maybe I'll get used to it, but let me take a look here. Yeah, oh, I got a new follower, too. Sweet. Um, let's see. Uh, show the subtitles. We want that for sure. Controls. Okay, here we go. Auto aim enabled. Oh, do I have auto aim? Maybe that's part of my issue. I'm trying to like compensate for that. <laughs> Screen green. Ah, I'll leave it. Whatever, it's fine. Game probably looks better without it, though, to be honest. Most of the time I'll remove the green. I'm gonna try tweaking these down to 70 and just seeing if that affects my aim. Yeah, that actually does feel better. Okay, we'll roll with that. And I shot that guy's head off. See, you don't need matches when you got crit hits. You know what I'm saying? That dude ain't coming back. I don't need to burn him. It's all good. It sucks I couldn't sneak up and get a stealth kill and save my bullets, though. I don't know why I'm going back. I feel like I was talking and not paying attention, and I probably missed, like, some brain juice. You gotta get that brain juice. You gotta get that brain juice. But yeah, what was my ramble about? Uh, people being curmudgeon about, like, shaking their fist at clouds. I mean, I see it all the time in other genres, too. Like, I've had some friends that 
I went to high school with or people I've been friends with for years and they're like rap music today is bad my rap music was good and I'm like no you listened to it in your formative years so it stuck with you kids are making the shit that they like nowadays like it's fine to like prefer your stuff but to just say that today's stuff is garbage and kids today xx don't know blah Every generation does that. You're literally just being the annoying old people that you didn't like when you were young. That's who you turned into. You gotta calm down. Like, there's definitely stuff I don't understand, but I am past trying to even knock it like, like anybody gives a shit about my opinion in the first place. And honestly, it's opened my mind up to enjoy a lot of new things. That normally I wouldn't be into. Like, I listen to a lot of modern music, and I'm into it. I listen to, uh, or I play a lot of games. That, I mean, I, I played Fortnite. What was it? Last week or the week before? I actually had a lot of fun with it. I won't continue to play the Fortnite, though. I don't think it's for me. But that's more of, like, an online multiplayer thing. I'm a single-player guy. That's just, that's how I roll. It's always been me. And I like multiplayer here and there, but more co-op stuff. Where I can, like, team up with a friend to fight. Uh, against the game, not against each other. Because I don't have the time to get good at a game to defeat other human opponents. There's a lot of people just like, this is my game, this is what I play. And that's cool. It's not for me. Hey, are you guys from around here? I don't know You're still I trying that. Look, this guy is dumb. He's very sad. Oh. It's getting hit with the eye of Sauron there. Oh, that's bad news. And unfortunately, I don't have any bullets. Oh, his face. Oh god, he saw me, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Shit. Yeah, he saw me. Maybe I could take the fight far away, enough away where the other guy won't hear. Son of a bitch! Fuck you! He killed me. He's scrum. All right, let's see where they put me at. It checkpoints, so, I mean, I have save points, too, but... Yeah, yeah, we're good. You see if I can just, uh... You should go investigate that, sir. Thank you. Okay. Please don't turn around. Uh-oh. The commissar's in town. Uh-oh. I was, I was pressing uh, what I thought was A because I got Nintendo brain. <laughs> I got him, though. Oh, and you get bullets for stealth kills. I almost want to go back and get uh, bullets from the other guy, but I'm not going to. Brain juice. I feel good sometimes I don't. Hey. Brain juice. Brain juice. Okay, so this other guy... Probably should hit him with Nat. Oh. Yeah, okay. Boop. Sure, why not? I'll take that shit. Wishish. Oh, you can hide in here. Oh, 
Oh, hey, look, a trap. Let's see if we can disarm this bad boy. Get some uh, agony crossbow components. Huh. It seems like I have to go through here no matter what. Okay, let me see what this guy is. He is in my left ear, but I don't see him over here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I'ma get you. I'ma get you. Okay. I think we're gonna try to stealth kill this guy, I think. Oh god. Okay, I hope he's going to turn around and walk back. Yeah, okay. I think we got him. Here we go. We're going for it. I'm going to get you. 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 I got you. Oh, wow. I wonder if they come back if you stab them in the brain like that. I don't know. It's giving me the opportunity to burn him, but I'm going to pass. I feel like I'll be out of here soon enough. Probably. They say follow the light sources. Right? In video games. And that film grain is aggressive. It makes the game look cool though. I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. Don't turn me into a monster, light. I'm just gonna run this way. I probably should leave before wow, I am out of shape. Let's say I probably should leave before that guy does come back. He's probably not going to be too pleased about me stabbing him in the head. I wouldn't be. See, there's like... Uh-oh. Don't look at me. There's like these hay things everywhere. Can I burn these? I'm not getting any kind of prompt to. So, probably not. Checkpoint! Alright! That means I can die and come back to this spot. Checkpoints make the game a little less scary, I have to admit. I get it. It's a modern concession. It's another thing I'm sure somebody somewhere is complaining about. Can I, um... Can I hop this? Yes, I can. Hey, does that mean I can hop this? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to try to get this guy. He is like steady on looking that way, so I feel like I can get the drop on him pretty easily. Boop! You stupid bitch. And he's right next to that fire, so he should catch on fire. He should... Oh, get that brain juice. I wonder if that other guy had brain juice. Let's see if I can scoot him into this fire. Oh, uh, no. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, he's going to go investigate. And that's when I'm going to come and get him. He's definitely going to be turned around for... Yes! Ah! Fuck you. Can I just... Can I torch him? There we go. Oh, but that undid my torch, though. Ah, well. It's like monsters everywhere. This place is so up and ended. I feel like I hear monsters in this building, too. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? More syringes. I'll take that. Hmm. 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh god. Ah, damn it. Oh, damn. There we go. Woo! 10% crits, eh? Are you sure? I feel like there's a lot more than 10%. Again, I shot the guy's head off. I think we're good, right? I guess we'll see. I'm not going to light that body on fire. Anyways, I was trying to get this brain juice before I was so rudely interrupted. Let me re reload the bullets here. Okay. Yoink. I hear... Oh, there he is. Okay. Like he's gonna turn around because he came from over there, which means he's probably gonna patrol back. He's got a lot of shit sticking out of his head. Is another knife in his head really gonna do it? I don't know. I wonder if there was a brain juice upgrade for making myself move faster in stealth, because that would be like super helpful. Okay. Yeah, you're good. He's all right. I mean, how fast are they going to come back anyways? I was like, what's that? That's the ocean. The biggest monster. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Okay, it's over here. I want to take it positioned right here. I don't want to trip the thing, but I also... Oh, God. I feel like he doesn't duck enough. There we go. Where if I like, if I try to duck under this, I'd still get hit by it. Oh, I'd feel so dumb if I got hit by one of those traps. No, thank you. Oh, there goes another one. I guess I'll take these supplies. Okay, that's where I got that bad guy. Okay, yep. Try to get the right way forward. I think it's up here. Might as well leave before they come back. There's another body. You know what? There's like two, like, paired up next to each other. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it on these fools. I feel like they were gonna try to cause trouble. You see how they got up and tried to get at me? That was a smart idea. Let's listen to how much noise I'm making. Give me them bullets. Did the other guy have bullets? I guess not. Alright, checkpoint again. We put in an hour. I could call it done right now. I'll go a little bit further, though. Let's check out this room over here. I don't hear anybody, but I also don't trust it. It's probably fine. Okay, I'm going to duck into the room. Okay, I think we're good. All right, I'm punched up. Break stuff. Darn it. Come and get it. <gasps> I'm full up? Well, you know what that means. Do I still have this shortcutted? I don't. Okay. There we go. All right, now I can grab this. Okay, where do we want to go next? This looks like the perimeter of whatever we're... Look how... 
like, close it is. Maybe I should remove those bars. That's making me feel claustrophobic. Hold on. Options. Where's the bars at? Bars. Disabled. There we go. That makes me feel a little bit less claustrophobic. I feel like there was a lot of the screen real estate being taken up by that. They could have literally just zoomed in, and I'm still seeing the same amount of uh, actual screen. I don't know if that's the case or not. Maybe it's just psychological, but... I mean, letterbox the cutscenes. Don't letterbox the gameplay. What are you doing? Okay. I think we're good. See any more monsters? Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. From right there, I thought it wasn't letting me like walk across. Oh, well, no, it isn't. This is literally an invisible wall. Why would they do that? That's weird. They could just make the wall like don't dive in the water. It's an odd. Uh... Good thunderclap. That actually was kind of scary. That's an odd place to put an invisible wall, I feel like. Alright, I'm like working against it, because I'm not even supposed to be over here, apparently. Oh man, this guy. I can see why they uh, they have the stamina upgrade now. It was expensive as shit, too. They want to make it annoying as hell for him to run. So you'd be like, okay, I'll spend the points. I feel like it's a bad idea to spend points on Good that. God. At least right now. Good God. That's right. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, okay, yeah. Aw, shit! That's bad. That's bad. That's bad, right? That's probably bad. That's where I came in at. Aw, son of a bitch! Ah! No! Please don't hurt me! I've got kids. I don't, but... Wait, I do. He doesn't. He might. I don't know. Can I light any of these bodies on fire and then make a wall of fire between me and the bad guys? No? Okay. Okay. I feel like I've sufficiently... Oh, God. Kited them. I want to... Oh, it's not smart what I just did. I want to go back in that house that I just passed by because oh it's right here. There's it's there's nothing there. Look at this Benny Hill bullshit. That's a TikTok. I'm doing that. <laughs> Shit. Better get out of here. All right. Okay. Yeah, they came out the woodwork. There probably was something in that building, but I didn't want to go all the way up in it. Yeah, action hero bullshit. I love it. Bet not I've wasted one of my bullets in that cutscene shot. I bet have all my bullets. I wonder if I was out of bullets if it would still play out like that. Probably. But if it didn't, though, that'd be kind of neat. Hey! Chapter 2! Chapter 2! Chapter 2! Chapter 2! We did it! I think that's a good place to stop, actually. Friday Night Frights, everybody. Evil Within, episode one. We're going to do more. I'm having a great time. You're having a great time. And by you, I mean if, if, if uh, somebody watches it. No one's watching it right now. <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, so, yeah. New episode of the podcast up on Sunday, as usual. A really good episode. We didn't have a whole lot to talk about, so we ended up just waxing fun about different video game concepts and kind of rambling on but it's it's a good convo i really enjoyed myself and um you know join me on monday for an all-new beat em up i'll be back streaming then and we'll continue this series on fridays if you're interested and if you haven't already for god's sakes get on the link tree first of all follow me on twitch it really helps me out i'm like 10 followers away from being an affiliate 
uh, subscribe to MC Paper Stacks Plays. Maybe pop in, give me a friendly comment once in a while. Some encouragement, I'd appreciate it. Some likes. Uh, you know, subscribe to Player Two as under the podcast. Uh, or listen to it whenever you listen to podcasts. Review us if you can. Review us on Apple po- Apple Podcasts. That gets us in front of more people. Follow us on TikTok. We are so active on TikTok. We're putting up videos every single day. It's been so much fun. And I've loved the people that I met through that. Seriously. Like, I'm doing this all for the love. And I really appreciate the interactivity from you guys. I'm coming up on two years of streaming. And I'm probably one of the slowest growing channels out there. But I refuse to take shortcuts. I want to do this how I want to do it. I want to find my audience organically. So help me do that. Share me around. I would appreciate it. All right. Uh, If I don't see anybody until Monday night, I hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Have a good one.